All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We are back with another video, and this time it's, gosh, part seven of my CD box set collection. This is where I take a look at the original long box format. So this is the format uh, predominant uh, through the 90s and early 2000s, where you'd have the long cardboard box with the CDs in jewel cases safely inside the uh, cardboard box. No scratching or anything like that. So uh, let's take a look at another uh, set of box sets and some uh, bringing back some great memories. Uh, certainly for a very underrated artist. This is the Rick Nelson box set, simply called Legacy. Uh, this came out on Capitol in the year 2000, uh, divided into four different discs. So you have disc one is called I Don't Miss Around Boy, 1957 to 1959. Disc two, Hello, Mary Lou, Goodbye, Imperial, from 59 to 64. Disc three is Easy to Be Free, 66 to 72, and that features a garden party those years. And disc four is Rave On, 74 through to 1985. Uh, Rick Nelson, who, I don't know, an underrated artist, I mean, has been recognized, but maybe even after all these years, haven't, hasn't been really given the credit that he's due, uh, often gets kind of sidelined or kind of forgotten about. I mean, a great, uh, great performer, great uh, singer, and really had that sort of country rock sound um, just down pat. Of course, you know, from TV fame, from the Ozzy and Harriet uh, TV show, which probably didn't help in terms of wanting to be uh, taken seriously as a musician. But boy, talk about a guy who had a great band surrounding him, including James Burton on guitar. And just listen to the music. Rick Nelson, absolutely terrific. And I just, I just think very underrated. So I don't know if you're able to see the titles there. So for Capitol Records, this is a nice, really nice four CD box set that uh, does uh, Rick Nelson a lot of justice. So uh, simply like that, and a nice, very nice uh, booklet inside. And as I mentioned with the series, it won't take uh, too, too long to look at the book. Some, some nice uh, 45 sleeves there. And nice, nice hair there. And uh, yeah, Rick Nelson. Dying tragically, but so uh, okay. So let's uh, take a look at the uh, CDs. So they uh, simply sit inside like that. Each uh, individual disc, its own jewel case, like that. And disc one, and uh, the first two discs also have a number of uh, bonus tracks as well. So this, yeah, this is a really nicely put together uh, four CD set. Okay, so it's like that. Nice artwork through it, and I don't think there's anything behind it. Nope. So there is disc one. Uh, disc two. Okay. Disc three. Again, getting into the garden party years. Let's see if I can get that going the right way. Yeah, and disc four. But yeah, if you want to check out some really nicely executed uh, country uh, rock, Rip Nelson. And a very, very nice box set. And I don't think I've seen any other like really good overview for Rick Nelson uh, pretty much since this one, at least not offhand. Okay, how about 50 Years of Country Music from Mercury? This is a three CD box set. Uh, it has kind of a budget feel to it. And it goes back to 1945. Uh, the first uh, song on here is Sheriff Tom Owen and His Cowboys, a new 10-gallon hat from 1945. And it wraps up with Shania Twain's Any Man of Mine from 1995. So this uh, came out in 1995. Uh, as I say, I'm not a huge uh, country fan, uh, but I definitely wanted to pick this up just because I do like uh, some of the old country, and I thought it would be a, a nice, nice retrospective. Uh, saying includes 73 songs, all original recordings, you know, lots of rare photographs, over three hours total playing time, a three CD box set, uh, given the uh, music easily could have been a four CD box set, and this is the one where it's attached to it. As I say, for whatever reason, this one has kind of just a slightly budget feel. The booklet is really thin. We'll take a look at the uh, CDs in just a sec. So this gives you all the Mercury labels. Which you don't often see listed there. 
and then it's kind of a, just a very straightforward kind of booklet. Not too bad. And write-ups on all the songs and absolutely vintage uh, photographs. George Jones, Farron Young, Dolly, Charlie Rich, Tom T. Hall, and Billy Ray Cyrus, and of course Shania Twain. So there you have that. That's the booklet, and then the CDs uh, in here like this. So it's three CDs. Uh, so the two discs sit in the one, and then just one in the other one here. So disc one, and pretty straightforward with the uh, packaging. I don't know if you're able to see any of that. And then the discs just in there like that, and nothing on the inside. There's disc one, and you get disc two. This is 57 to 69. Yeah, that's the only, only problem sometimes when you get just get uh, just a single little sleeve like that. Uh, sometimes they can ride up and then you go to <laughs> shut it and then it's like, oh. And then finally, oh, and this one seems kind of jammed in here nicely. Because we've talked about that's the downside sometimes too is that these CDs get really wedged in there tightly. And this three, uh, 1970 to 1995. Again, given so much music on the Mercury label. Probably could have been a four CD set easily, but uh, okay, and there you go. And so there is 50 years of country music from Mercury Records, or at least from 45 to 95. Okay, so there is that. All right, and moving right along. This was my first big introduction to uh, James Brown with this amazing box set. This is James Brown and Star Time uh, for Compact Disc Edition. Uh, this came out, gosh, in 1991, and this is a terrific overview. A definitive 35th anniversary uh, collection at the time. Five hours of music, 72 songs, including previously unreleased tracks. I mean, what can you say? James Brown. You know, and again, they didn't skip on it. It's a nice four CD set. And just chock full of great James Brown music. Really entertaining. And then it just pops out like that. And then I don't know if you can see that. It's got kind of almost like that swirl thing going on. Might not be able to see that there. Okay, and then the uh, booklet in there. And then the CDs like this. Uh, James Brown Star Time. Again, pretty comprehensive book. No uh, color, uh, very few color photographs other than some of the 45 uh, singles, but uh, could have maybe stiffed it up a little bit with the booklet, but it's still, it's still pretty good. It's nice, nice overall. Okay. And then the discs, James Brown, we got to disc one. And it's interesting with this, uh, when you look at it, you can barely see uh, like it's just right up in the corner here, like disc one and disc two, <laughs> like they look like completely identical. You really gotta look closely at it. So this is, in fact, yes, disc one. Going right back to please, please, please. You know, again, just a great introduction to the uh, world of uh, James Brown, and again, nothing particularly on the inner sleeves there. I'm sorry for the squeaking. <laughs> Again, with these box sets, these CD box sets, you may hear some strange noises like squeaking and things like that, too. So here's disc two. This kicks off with Papa's Got a Brand New Bag, part one. So the first disc is called Mr. Dynamite. Second disc is called The Hardest Working Man in Show Business, of course. Oops. Yeah, as I said, that's the only thing. This When you have the, just the very... Uh, thin inner sleeves it, often I don't know what it is the, the way they kind of slide in and then it it's just slightly difficult to close and disc three uh, this is a soul brother number one so you got uh, things like um, mother popcorn uh, funky drummer and get up I feel like being a sex machine super bad parts one and two talking loud and saying nothing oh so many great songs And 
And last but certainly not least, uh, this one called Star Time. But yes, lots of great, great James Brown. No squeaking. And this four. Oh, so there you go. Okay, I'm quite a time with the CDs today. But yeah, just a really great, really great box set. 19, yeah, 1991. Okay, how about uh, Jefferson Airplane Loves You? This is a three compact disc uh, set that uh, came out on uh, BMG RCA. And I'm not sure, you, uh, the year is 1992 when this was first released. Again, a band that really only three CDs. I'm off, I'm off, I often find it fascinating, some of these groups, where they only get like a three CD box set. That It's a band that easily, easily could be a four CD or more box set. Uh, compilation but uh, there you have it Je uh, Jefferson Airplane uh, loves you so this is uh, simply a three CD set but a nice couple of previously uh, unreleased tracks some alternate takes the wonderful legacy of Jefferson Airplane so this again focuses on Jefferson Airplane it doesn't really get into any of this really any of the, the starship kind of stuff the great early stuff Okay, and uh, we'll go like that. And Jefferson Airplane Loves You. And this was a kind of a fun fun booklet. Uh, very colorful. Lots going on in this. So I won't spend too, too much time. But uh, yeah, this one was a, a nice, nice early presentation. Again, this was one of the you know early kind of big Genesis, or Genesis, early big Jefferson Airplane uh, compilations. Okay, there you have that. And then the CD is simply inside like this. Again, the same sort of idea to make them look even. There's the two CDs on, on the one side and then the one on the other. And so we'll take a look at each one. If I've got these in the right order, this is disc one. So this is, yeah, disc one. And nice artwork all through. And I don't think, yeah, so they have the artwork on the inside, but I don't recall there was, well, no, there is the uh, the write-ups of at least the uh, credits on each of the songs are inside. So like that, not extensive, but okay, so we have disc one. And if this is the right one, disc two. This one, you almost really have to look on the side. Again, it's just very small numbers in the corner. But at least, again, different artwork on each of the discs, which is quite nice. You know, and each, each disc looking different. And then just the writing credits on the inside. And disc three. Okay. And <laughs> shorten the list there. Okay, so there you have Jefferson Airplane Loves You 3 CD box set collection. It easily could have been four or more, even just looking at the Jefferson Airplane stuff. I mean, there's so much uh, material you could have included on something like that. Okay, something a little different. How about uh, Playboy's 40th anniversary? Four Decades of Jazz, 1953 to 1993. And this is on the, uh, I don't know if you can, where is it here? It's on the Verve label. So yeah, maybe it's just on the back or on the side here. So this is a jazz artist on the Verve label. Of course, Hugh Hefner from Playboy magazine was a big, big jazz fan, often featured uh, jazz articles uh, in Playboy magazine. So this is a, an overview for a four disc set, very nicely presented again on, uh, on Verve. Uh, so we have disc one is 1953 to 63, disc two, 63 to 73, uh, disc three, 73 to 83, and simply disc four, 83 to 93. And uh, this came out in 1993. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the artists here. I mean, we start things off with Charlie Parker, but we've also got, gosh, like Shirley Horn, like all the great ones. Like, oh my gosh, we got uh, Herbie Mann, uh, Chikoria. So wonderful. Thelonious Monk, Oscar Peterson, Nina Simone. You know, this is really a terrific box set.
Like wonderful, wonderful music on here. And what's interesting about this box set, so it's Playboy's 40th anniversary, four decades of jazz. There isn't a uh, saucy or cheeky or uh, you know, cheesecake photo anywhere in here. This is all just straight dedication to jazz. So there's no Playboy bunnies featured in on this or anything like that anywhere in this compilation. So it's surprised there wasn't like one or two photos. Now this, uh, this booklet is getting a little on the older side. So it has that feel like the pages are starting to become undone. So I'll just, just take care um, in terms of turning. There's a nice little write up on Hugh Hefner there. But yeah, for anyone <laughs> who's hoping for uh, any um, interesting photography, shall we say, would be a little disappointed, um, but a great write up on the jazz artists uh, in this book. Really nice well thought out, well presented. But yeah, there's no Playboy bunnies, no centerfolds, nothing. Just great jazz music for sure. Okay, let's see if I've got these in the right order uh, to show them yet. We got, uh, let's go uh, 53 to 63. No, John Coltrane's also featured on here. This is, it's just definitive jazz collection. Like, so good. And I don't think there was anything particularly on the uh, inner sleeves here. But then again, sort of credits. So there's disc one, and then disc two. So I got 63 to 73. You know, a different artwork on each of the discs, which is quite nice. Similar, but very slightly different there. You know, it's just a wonderfully definitive jazz collection. You know, long before it's sort of the Ken Burns jazz things came out. Okay. So there is disc two. Disc 3 is 73 to 83. Quincy Jones featured on here. Keith Jarrett. And the sleeves. And last but certainly not least in this collection, Disc 4. Got Pat Metheny, Herbie Hancock, Bobby McFerrin, Kenny G. Really, really nice. Like what a great collection. Okay. Okay, and there you have it. Playboy's 40th anniversary at the time. Okay, and I think maybe we've got time for maybe one or two more. How about uh, Tina Turner box set? So uh, this is the collection, the collected recording, 60s through to the 90s. Again, uh, focusing on uh, Tina Turner. Uh, sorry, the box is a little bit worn. I don't know, for, for whatever reason. Um, yeah, so this came out when, what year did this? This was on Capitol. Again, the, the Tina Turner was absolutely huge. I think this is saying the early 90s. It's down here, it's pretty hard to read, but I think we're talking maybe 93 or 94. Again, uh, three disc set. I don't know why the writing is so tiny on this box set, but celebrating the legacy of Tina Turner through the years. And again, a three disc set that easily could have been a four disc set, but a really nice booklet uh, included with this, uh, you know, celebrating Tina Turner. Of course, all the uh, 80s success that she had uh, with Capitol. Some great photography in this in this booklet. And then yeah, some of the on stage duets like with David Bowie. Gosh, we got to Brian Adams. I'm missing a few here. Yeah, I saw Eric Clapton in there, Brian Adams. And who else do we have in here? We've got uh, Mark Knopfler and Tina Turner here. And Paul McCartney and Tina Turner. 
Rod Stewart with Tina. Elton John uh, with Tina. Although interesting reading in Elton John's uh, autobiography, I think he you know adores Tina Turner, but fi finds her very hard to work with sometimes, according to his uh, autobiography. And this is from the Princess Trust concert, 1988. Wow. And some of the some of the album covers over the years. The Forty five sleeves. The producers she's worked with. So there you go. Simply the best. Tina Turner. And again, this is a, a three CD set. So again, the idea is that two discs sit in the one side and then one in the other. They can look nice and even like that. Uh, that's some fun artwork though. I think I'd like kinda like the artwork on, on this. Simple but you know effective. So this is disc one. And of course, it does feature some of the early Ike and Tina stuff, but the focus mainly trying to be Tina Turner with this. There's disc one, and then disc two. You can see what's on there. Yeah, this is 1994 on Capitol Records. And it does look like there is some credits on the inside. Yeah, it's just basic, the basic credit listings in there. And then we have uh, disc three. And inside credits. All right, so that's going to wrap it up uh, for this one. There'll be another part uh, for sure. And uh, again, uh, thanks so much uh, for dropping by. And I do hope you enjoy these uh, CD box set uh, collection videos. I've had fun uh, presenting them and fun uh, just uh, listening to some of these box sets again. These box sets bring back a lot of memories uh, from picking these up in the 90s. And as, and as I mentioned, a lot of times uh, with some of these box sets, not all of them, but with some of the box sets uh, would be my first big introduction to some of these groups. It was a really big way to get really immersed in some of these bands and, and, and artists and then get into their catalog a lot more. So some, some fun, fun box set. So uh, do take care. Hopefully everybody's staying safe out there and uh, we will chat again really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.